live from the Fox 29 studios. This is Good Day Philadelphia. Have you ever wondered what the first Oval Office looked like? What it looked like? We had the first Oval Office, too. It's not what it looks like on Scandal, Jen. It's, this is not what it looks like at Scandal. No, because that's modern era. I want to welcome you back to Revolutionary Times. Good morning. Good morning. So this is what the first Oval Office uh, probably looked like. That's right. We've uh, recreated General Washington's uh, original sleeping in office tent from the American Revolution. Okay, so explain to me what's happening. First, first of all, we're here at 3rd and Chestnut, which in 2016 is going to have an amazing new museum. This is the last day before you basically tear this down. The fences are going to start going up, the uh, demolition of the building, and we'll, soon we'll start construction of the Museum of the American Revolution here. Um, these people behind me, they look like they're from Williamsburg. They're, lo they're not from around here is what I think that we would say in Philadelphia. Why are they here? That's right. These are um, trades interpreters from Colonial Williamsburg cool. who were involved in, over the last two years, working on this reconstruction. So this is all completely hand-sewn, all original materials, and we partnered with Colonial Williamsburg uh, to produce this um, great traveling... Uh, Exhibition. So these men and women are here because not only will they show us what they're going to be doing in the future for us, they're also going to um, basically workshop with some of the local museum interpreters from Philadelphia, from Morristown, from other areas all around here so that basically our teams can learn from, let's face it, the gold standard. You bet. Yes, we're uh, bringing in historical interpreters from our partner institutions like Historic Philadelphia, Historic Germantown, Morristown National um, uh, Historical Park who are going to come and learn about 18th century tent making, which is something that took place during the revolution here in Old City. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. All right, so Mike, let's do our Batman thing. We're going to walk over <laughs> here. He's going to go that way. All right, here um, we go. And this tent literally took a long, 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 long time to build. You bet. This uh, was a, a, an entire summer with, the, with that crew that you just saw <laughs> stitching every single day uh, in front of the public. I love it. And I have to say this, you know, one of the things that they said <laughs> off camera is, you know, they do live in the modern era, and so they do look at modern trade work. And if you look at this stool, this is something that you would see maybe in a design house even today. And this is something that they made and it harkens back to all those years ago. There's a great Philadelphia connection here. This is um, a reproduction of a set of 18 folding camp stools that were actually made right on Chestnut Street in 1775 for General Washington. I Two of those have survived and these are reproductions, again, made at Colonial Williamsburg for the Museum of the American Revolution. I love it. I can't wait to see you in 2016. I can't wait to be seen. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Seriously, Mike and Chanel, like yeah. people would pay really, really, really good money for this. And it, and it's funny. And I said to the I said to the interpreters, I'm like, so when you see these like old navy clothes, you must crush, you know. And they're like, they do look at the what we've done now with our clothing and our furniture. Uh huh. I would like to what, have a folding Mike? camp stool in my apartment. Well, here you go, Thank you, honey. They made it. Maybe that George Washington used. <laughs>